All right, guys, in our previous videos, we create the navigation bar, we add some style, and now we need to create the footer. Let's open code editor uh, in the components folder. Let's create new component, name it footer. And the footer, like in the navigation bar, we're not gonna use any state. So we can use functional component. Let's cut export default. Let's put dummy text. Save it. Let's go to app. Let's import footer. That's in the components folder. And under navigation bar, we're gonna put our footer component. Save it. All right, footer showed up. So let's open developer tools and open React tools. If you guys don't have React tools, go to more tools, extensions, and in search bar, type React Developer Tools and install it. It's very important. Okay, let's open app. As you see, navbar and footer. Let's look on completed project. As you see, here's the four columns with uh, some information like contact. Here can be whatever you want you want to put here. Uh, in the future videos, we're gonna use uh, for links. We're gonna use React Router. So if you guys don't subscribe yet, just do it now to not miss any future videos. All right, and uh, bottom we see the copyright sign, current year, for current year we're gonna use JavaScript code. Uh, all right, that's it, let's create. So let's open code editor, let's go back to footer. Uh, let's delete this div, in parentheses and in here, let's create a div with a custom class. I'm gonna call it main footer. You can call whatever you like. What I mean custom uh, class, it means not the bootstrap, not bootstrap class. All right, and inside this one, we're gonna put bootstrap class container. Div with the bootstrap con class container. And now we need one more div with the row class. It's also a bootstrap class. And in the row, we're gonna create the columns. Let's create first one. Let's comment column one. Let's create div with bootstrap class. It's gonna be call for medium size screen gonna be three and column we need for small size screen we put six all right let's add h4 hat header with the dummy text uh, two words enough all right now let's add the ul on order list with, uh, I'm gonna put four allies. Well, let's put dummy text, two words enough. Let's save it. Let's go back in the browser. We got a one column. So let's read off bullets. To do that, we need add bootstrap class which is uh, list unstyled. Save, go back. Good, working good. We needed three more columns. Let's go back. Uh, let's copy this column and put down three more. One, two, three. Let's change for four, three. To save, go back to browser. Good. 
So now the last thing we need to put the copyright thing. So to do that, we're gonna we're gonna put inside inside container. So let's go down here. Let's put comment. It's a footer bottom. To do the comment first, so just select control plus forward slash, and it's automatically commented. So here we're gonna add div uh, with the custom class. It's gonna be footer bottom. Not bottom. Bottom. All right. And inside footer bottom, let's add the paragraph with the class bootstrap class. It's gonna be text extra small center. So we're gonna we wanna center the text when the extra small uh, screen. All right, and let's put ampersand copy semicolon and in GSX we can put JavaScript anywhere but inside curly braces. Get full view. All right, and let's put some text. Let's save it. Let's go back to the browser. All right, we got a footer, almost like an original, but we need to put style. 